Hello friends, how are you all? Today we bring you the story of the film Cocaine Bear from 2023, which may sound a bit strange, but did you know that the film Cocaine Bear is based on a real event that took place in Georgia, USA, in 1985? Let me tell you what happened in Georgia. The movie starts, and we see a smuggler named Andrew dropping off some cocaine bags in the jungle and trying to escape with a bag full of hallucinogenic drugs. But he accidentally collides with a door and loses consciousness, leading to his death. Meanwhile, somewhere else, a plane crash occurs, and there's Andrew. Local police officers, along with Detective Bob, try to identify him. They figure out that this cocaine smuggler is bringing a consignment for the notorious drug kingpin Sid White, and the remaining drugs are scattered around the jungle due to the plane crash. In the meantime, in the national forest, an American black bear comes across a packet of cocaine and mistakenly consumes it. After that, it becomes so aggressive that it attacks a couple, Elsa and Olaf, who were tracking it. Olaf manages to escape somehow, but the bear kills Elsa. In East Georgia, there is a middle school student named Dee Dee who lives with her mother, Sari, who is a nurse. Dee Dee has been asking her mother to accompany her for a few days to draw together, but her mother is very busy and lately, she's been feeling a bit overwhelmed. So, Dee Dee decides to skip school with her best friend Henry and head towards the jungle. Meanwhile, Sari returns from work, and when she sees that Henry's mother is worried about them not coming back from painting, she spots Henry's bag, which had a map inside showing their route to the jungle. Sari immediately goes to the park ranger Liz to search for the kids. There, she also encounters a wildlife activist named Peter, who happens to be Lizzie's friend. Together, they set out towards the jungle. In the jungle, D. Dee's hands come into contact with packets of cocaine, and she realizes that they are drugs. Caught up in the excitement, she and Henry decide to try them out in their playful innocence. However, their attention is not drawn to the packet that the bear had eaten. Suddenly, the smell of cocaine attracts the bear, and both children become terrified. As the bear sneezes in the evening light, they get startled and run away from there. Here, Liz is explaining to Sari about the teenage thieves in the jungle who often trouble people coming and going there. When they all reach there to search for the children, they find a tree with thorny branches where Henry can take refuge from the bear. When Henry says that the bear wants to kill them, Peter laughs and says that bears can also climb trees. He assures them that bears are friendly and not aggressive. Suddenly, the bear unexpectedly attacks Peter. Liz fires her gun at the bear but ends up injuring the bear as well. Amidst all this, Sari silently hides behind the tree where Henry was. Peter, while trying to save his life, drops the packets of cocaine and climbs up the tree. Liz, after saving herself, goes to the office to send help for them. Now, the bear notices Henri and starts climbing the tree behind him. For a moment, it seems as if Henri is about to die. But then, attracted by the smell of cocaine, the bear climbs the same tree where Peter was. The bear falls down and attacks Peter, ultimately killing him. Meanwhile, Sari and Henry run away from there. Meanwhile, Dee Dee had left marks of nepenthes for Sari and Henry, which they used to track their way. Dave and Eddie arrive at the drug location, but Bob had already reached the by following his sponsor's clues. However, there is less cocaine for the bear and more for the mages. Anywhere it can reach, the bear can appear. Bob realizes that he is intoxicated and throws a packet towards it to distract the bear. As Bob is about to take the bag, suddenly Sid shoots him and declares that he has no more allies. If he doesn't deliver the bags containing drugs that belong to them, he will also be killed. Sari and Henry meet Olaf, who is grieving over the loss of his wife. Sympathetic towards their situation, Olaf agrees to help them reach Dee Dee's hiding place which is a bear's den where Olaf's two cubs are present, indicating that it is a female bear. Olaf now wants to escape from there to save his life, but the reverse bear hits him and kills him. Sid, Eddie, and David E. discover the cave, which leads to a waterfall where the remaining bags of bears are kept. They also make their way there. Upon entering the bear's cave, they see Sari, Henry, and Dee Dee jumping into the water below to save themselves. 
followed by Eddie and Davy D. However, Sid refuses to leave the bag of cocaine in the cave. He shoots the bear and injures it, but fails to kill it the same way and the bear and its cubs end up killing Sid, Sari, D. D. and Henry, along with Eddie and Davy D manage to save their lives. Eddie and Davy D decide to quit the criminal life, and Eddie reunites with Bob, his dog, and his son. However, even after the destruction caused by cocaine, Stick goes to New York with a bag of cocaine for justice, and the film ends here. If you want us to continue entertaining you with similar stories, please subscribe to our channel, like the video, and keep sharing.